Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I want to share with you this new set which has just come through the post. It's a set which I uh, was intrigued by because it's been made by Dewent and it's a line and wash paint pan set but it actually has colours from the Ink Tense range. Now most of you who have subscribe to my channel or follow me will know that I love to use the ink tents pencils that Dewent produce and I use them a lot in my sketchbook work and really enjoy using them so when I saw that Dewent had produced a paint pan set which featured these ink tents colours or some of the ink tents colours I thought oh this might be quite interesting to look at and swatch and so this set was on offer and included in the set was also a 0.3 and a 0.8 line marker and I thought that would be um, really interesting to actually have a look at it, unbox it on camera and then swatch what's inside and just really give you an idea of what this set is like. I'm really curious actually as to how the uh, pan paints will react and whether they're similar to the ink tense pencils where once you've put water over them they're very intense. So yeah, let's have a look what's inside. So these are super fine, free-flowing, permanent liners, so that'll be good. They are permanent, so it means I can mix watercolour, layer over them, maybe layer on top, and uh, they'll be fine. As you can see, I haven't used this at all. So this is just a plastic box, and inside we have, oh look, they've done some swatches for us on a um, feels like a little bit like tracing paper but very thick so that's included and then you've got your colours here sun yellow, mango, poppy red, autumn brown Payne's grey, ocean blue, artichoke meadow port bright blue, natural brown, storm grey so basically there are a mix of ink tents colours and then also graphite tint colours. So we've got some popular ink tents colours and then you've got the graphite tint colours as well. We also get a little sponge and then a handy water brush. She feels like a pen. See that? It's a medium, medium thick kind of brush. We'll see what it's like though when it's wet. So I'm just going to fill up this pen with water and we'll get back to you. Okay, so I filled up the pen with water. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go from left to right and I'm going to swatch the colours right in my sketchbook, so I've got them there. I guess what's handy as well is having these, this little card because it's got the colour names on the card. So this is the sun yellow. So if you've used um, ink tense pencils you know how intense they can be when you wet them. They're, they act very much like watercolour 
big difference is that once they're dry they become permanent. Wow, look at that red. I think this one is the graphite tint. It's autumn brown. And I also think this one is you can see it's got like a little bit of a shimmer. We've got a bright blue. Now do I go onto that page or do I go down there? Hmm. Might actually go across. Wow, look at that blue, it's so bright. I don't think I've got bright blue actually in my ink tense pencil range. So it's nice to have a few extra colours. Like I don't have the graphite tints, I think I've got one graphite tint pencil. So this is the Payne's Grey. This is Ocean Blue. I think that might be a graphite tint as well. I know there are four graphite tints in here. And then I think there are two neutral shades, which means I think there's, you get six um, ink tense pencil colours. So I'll move that over. So this colour that I'm mixing now is called Artichoke. And that's very, very light, that shade. Wow. I don't think I've seen that colour in my, definitely not in my ink tents range. It's an interesting colour. And then this colour is called Meadow. That's a beautiful colour. That green. Then I've got two more. Natural brown. And storm grey. quite nice as well. It's a lot darker than I expected, that storm grey. I'm going to write in these. I'll just try out this little line marker. So that is the 0 0.3, 0.8. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to draw a few different scenes. Um, I'm going to use some photos that I took recently, so they're kind of autumnal photos 
um, with different colours. Um, I'm probably not going to share this on screen because it's probably the refresh rate is pretty bad. Anyway, I'll put this to one side, but that's what I'll be looking at. I'm just going to try and just use these pan colours and my fine liners as well. If you know my work, I love putting soft texture in my work with pencils, so this will be a little bit different to how I usually work. But I am up for the challenge and let's see what we can produce with these colours. Gonna lay out some boxes. Yesterday we went on a really, uh, quite a long walk again, about two hours, um, but we thought it was such a lovely day yesterday, we didn't want to miss the beautiful light. It's that kind of time of year when you have amazing um, golden colours. I think the time was between 3 and 5, so the sun sets a lot sooner, but you just get these amazing, really golden colours. So this palette is, is ideal, so you've got your reds and your browns and the orange. I love how actually there's quite a few compartments that you can mix in, so that's good, so they don't all then blend in together. Probably am going to have to mix the blue in with the green just to give me another green. It did look like the landscape was on fire though yesterday, just with how bright it was. The natural brown, storm grey, Payne's grey. That 
artichoke colour is great for just background. So now just going over top with the not as much water just to give me a bit of texture. put some of that blue now so let's see using the ocean blue just a little Bright blue might be quite interesting, maybe a bit too bright though. If I mix it in with Okay, so I'm now going to use the fine liner <clears throat> just to pick up bits of the land. This probably will be quite harsh, <laughs> but I said I would do it, so. Oh, what I'm missing. See what I'm doing? I'm just creating texture with my fine liner. This is probably what I would do with if I had coloured pencils going in creating texture. So I'm just doing that with the fine liner instead.
I've got this um, photo that I'm using of some fields which are just so gold and yellow so I'm going to do that in one the gold and yellow fields probably focusing on the fields but the sky is also really nice so I think I might do the sky the other side I'm going to wait for that to dry so I can go back in and then on this side I'm going to focus more on clouds I'm using the bright blue kind of watered down And then the storm grey just to put in the weight. Okay, so here is my spread using just the DeWent Line and Wash Paint Pan set. I think they will make a great addition actually to my kit. I really like how bright they are and how you can layer them up. And I also love the fact that I've got a few more muted colours in the range as well. Most of my DeWent colours are quite vibrant and bright so it's nice to actually incorporate or find that there are a few more muted ones like the Artichoke. I think that one will definitely be a colour that I'd like to use a bit more as well. I also think they will be great when I pair them with my pencils, my ink tense pencils and see how they work with them. I'm sure they will actually work really well together. So guys I hope you enjoyed this little swatching and sampling of these paints. You'll be able to find the link to them in the description below. Let me know if you do get them and I'd love to hear how you get on with them and I can't wait to start using them in the next few months. So I hope you guys are well and I'll speak to you again very soon.